It's definitely going to be an hot one today. Up to 82 Fahrenheit this afternoon, which is around 27 Celsius. So I'm out very early this morning. So we need to get all those plants bottom watered. And I can see, even though it's really early in the morning, that some of these tomato plants are already starting to droop a little bit. So they'll definitely struggle this afternoon. And that's why if you look behind me, we've cleared all the plants out. I've got a couple of tomato plants left. But everything else is out there on a bench. And that bench is in shade because we've got lots and lots of salads and they're not going to be able to handle that kind of heat consistently. I've also been putting some canes in these tomato plants so we can tie them to the canes as they start to grow up. Halfway through, I ran out of canes. But I did have something else handy that I saved from last year. And although it's only a temporary fix, it at least gets that job done for today. And I'll show you what they are. That's these. They look like canes, but they're not. These are the stems from last year's sunflowers. And sunflowers obviously grow really tall. And I just cut the heads off and cut the root off the bottom. And now they're perfect for using to just push into ground and tie his tomato plants to, albeit temporary. That's what I've done here. Just push one into ground, then I can secure that tomato plant to it. And they're not going to last forever because they're not the strongest of things. But for now, they'll do. And I've used a couple of those so far. Just until I get hold of some canes tomorrow. I've just left myself this one to do. So as close as I can to that plant and just push it into ground. And that's going to hold that plant up for a while until we get sorted. I think even some of these plants I'm going to be taking out today. They're still going to dry out really quick in this greenhouse. So I might pop them down in that container garden. We're going to be making a few changes to that container garden. So we can get more and more things in it. Things like there's tomatoes and there's cucumbers. Because I think that this coming week it's going to be consistently warm. And that wind's going to drop as well. So that's a perfect opportunity to start and fill it up with these more tender crops that we've got. And they'll not dry out as quick out there as they're going to do in here. We have got one or two in different size containers. That's a 10 litre container. The plant's doing all right. This one is slightly bigger and this one started to flower. And it's also got a little tomato growing on it. Plus if we put them outside, there's more chance of these flowers getting pollinated by insects because everything else is already outside. We'll move these as well. And I'll have a little shuffle around in that container garden and try to maximize the amount of things we can get in there. And I've still left all the salads just here. It'll be nice and shady here this afternoon. Because I don't want any of these small plants shriveling up. And then I've got this bench outside as well. Because this has got... There's lettuce in this container and a cucumber. And you can see just how much growth these have put on just this week. They're all main lettuce. And as beans. I would probably move this entire bench down to that container garden and use that to get more and more plants on. We better keep an eye on these potato plants as well today. Especially the ones that's in bags. They're going to get really hot really quick. And I'll go around and water all these oop tunnels as well. Maybe these cabbages or benefit that one's really starting to form a head now it's getting quite compact so we should be getting some red cabbage pretty soon and we've got quite a few to go up I've been stripping these plants back as well there was too much foliage around base of these plants so I've took a lot away and then we've tied them up right to these canes because that's how we want them to grow my courgette's going a bit mad. It's just putting out more and more growth and more and more fruit as well. But we are gonna to have to water a few bits and bobs in here as well today, just to stay on top of it before it gets too hot this afternoon. I'm gonna do the same with these outdoor tomatoes as well. Got quite a few peas going on here now. These are all sugar snaps. They're not quite ready yet though. We want them to plump up a little bit more than that. But there really is a lot of peas on here and lots more to come because it's full of flowers. 
This one's just starting to fatten up now, so that's not far off ready to be harvested. We don't want them too big, we just want a little bit of width to them and then we can start and harvest them. So we'll get some of this moved about at some point this afternoon. I've already put one new thing in here and that's this container and this one's got some cherry tomato plants in it, dwarf ones and some dwarf French bean plants. But if we just go round back, you can see that we've got beans growing. And that one in particular is a really good size. That's ready to be harvested at that size really. So we've now started getting quite a few beans growing on these plants, which is brilliant. I'm sure there's quite a few more to come. It looks like a potato plant is drooping a bit. doesn't feel that dry in there but we did have a bit of wind yesterday so it might have took a bit of a beating but these ones shouldn't be far off ready to harvest they've been in there 16 weeks now but that one seems to be doing all right so I think I'll move some of this and we'll put that big bench near then we can get a lot more produce in this small area Sugar snap plants also growing. Lots of peas on it. And it's at the top of that trellis now. With plenty more flowers on it as well. That one is ready to harvest. That's perfect thickness. Plenty to do this afternoon. I think we'll take a couple more of these salads up to that shady area as well, just to be on the safe side. We've got one or two containers here. For now I'll just pop that there with the rest of these salads. At least we know these will be alright for the rest of the day. Don't forget what I said about your hose pipes as well, especially today. Make sure you run them for a minute or more until it cools down. You don't want to be burning your plants, so just let it run for a while first. What well, first job we need to do today is move some of this stuff out of this container garden while we set some benches up for some new stuff. Now we'll start and put some new plants in there. It's so warm today. I think I'll leave that cucumber container on here and then I can train it to go all the way across this fence. And we've put those carrots together there as well. So, we'll get a few more plants in here and see how they look. Well that's a lot of stuff in there now and I think it's time we both had a bit of water.
Well, we've certainly got that packed out now. Loads and loads of things in this 12 foot by 12 foot container garden. Well, I think for a day in this temperature, that's enough work done. But that container garden now looks amazing. It's full of different varieties of fruit and vegetables. And we will add one or two more bits and bobs to that as we go through the next few weeks. Between now and then, maybe hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell. And then you can follow just how things grow in that 12 foot by 12 foot area. And now it's time for me to have a sit down and get a nice cold pint of shandy. Take care.